With 80s that have been in the forecast, and we've even seen some 90s already this season, a lot of us already are thinking summer. But with summer comes that extra daylight, and tomorrow is the summer solstice, so it's going to be the longest day, and we are going to grab every second of it. This evening, your sunset is going to go after the 9 o'clock hour. We've been there, so 9-11 is your sunset tonight, and we will add just a little more time to have that sunset tomorrow to be at 9-12. That's the longest it's going to be here for the season because soon we'll start to just kind of erase those seconds and soon minutes as the summer ticks on. So tomorrow we only have one more day until summer. Average highs once we get to this point in June should be around the mid 80s and we're going to be very close to that here for the early portions of this week. Now the summer solstice will actually be around 1057 tomorrow morning. So that's pretty precise, but we'll still have quite a bit of daylight as we go through Wednesday and even through July and August. But it already feels like summer outside. We're at 82 in Toledo and Fremont. We have 81 in Napoleon. We have 82 in Wauseon and 81 in Adrian. Our Lakeshore community staying cool into those 70s, but overall we still have that summer feeling here for the afternoon and we're going to keep it that way. Very seasonal as we go into summer, even today with those mid 80s and then we cool things out just a little bit by the end of the week as we're talking some rain chances for Friday, Saturday and then Sunday, a dry day. So that's why those numbers bump right back up. But as we go into next week, we're eyeing another chance of rain. Haven't talked a lot about rain, but it is going to play with those temperatures as highs do fall into the 70s, but they do rebound. So a very typical and kind of summer like forecast as we get settled into the new season. But maybe you need to well do a little bit of mowing. It's going to be warm and dry if you do that today and you have the go ahead for Wednesday. But Thursday, that's kind of the last chance to get it done because Friday you just get the no. No chance that we're probably going to be able to get those lawn mowers out as we are eyeing a wet forecast. So you're going to want to do it now as that grass is going to continue to grow with finally a little more rain in the forecast. Just not for today. We'll have partly sunny skies for your Tuesday. Highs are going to be into the mid 80s and we're going to stay in those summer highs because again, that summer solstice that's going to be tomorrow. Very warm with those mid 80s, very comfortable yet. And then here we go with some of those showers and thunderstorms as we head into your Friday and Saturday. Though as we go into the weekend, Sunday's going to be your pick day as we warm up into the upper upper 80s and then those 70s because we have more showers and storms on the way for early next week, but some dry days. That means some pool days in those 80s, but Definitely excited for, of course, summer. Uh, though, Kaylee, you were joking. You know I'm already in the summer <laughs> vibes and Mentally, thoughts. Yeah, we've been in summer for a while now, even though it's not officially. I know. So. That's why I was like the pool cast. It's just nice yes. those summer days to be hanging by the pool, staying cool. Mm -hmm. We don't even need 90s. 80s, it's the perfect pool. We're weather. getting close, though. That 87, we're creeping up. But yeah. I mean, I guess July is next, next Saturday? Yeah, well, next week we have a couple of days. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun here in the summer. And thankfully, yes. the forecast, though, allows us to get out and have some of that fun. Yeah. Well, thanks for that, Diane. Thanks yeah, for you're giving welcome. us some I'll warm take, weather. Yeah, 